Good morning. Did you have a good night of sleep? Yeah. And here is Daisy. Good morning, Daisy. <laughs> Let's get you changed. <laughs> she just loves the basket. <laughs> To your eyes, I see we're out of time. Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome if you are new. In today's video I decided to do a little bit of a vlog style to show you guys how our day looks like with the newborn baby. And then my two other kids, I do have a toddler and a five-year-old. Just finished getting ready, the kids are up now as well, so I'm just going to get them ready and we will head downstairs to get some breakfast. Before that, I actually want to show you guys how my body looks like. It's been six weeks postpartum. We actually went to see my doctor with the baby yesterday. So she checked us. Um, she actually mostly just checked the baby. She didn't really check me. She just asked me to see how I'm doing. But anyways, I will show you how my body looks like six weeks postpartum after having my three kids. Okay, so we are here in the washroom and I am just wearing this uh, bralette and then these leggings. So here's the side profile. As you can see, this part is still like bulging out. So I still have a little bit of a, a belly right here, but it has definitely gone down quite a bit. And sorry, I have a little red marks from... <laughs> My two-year-old, he just kind of was scratching me. The linea negra is still running here. It's still pretty dark. It makes my belly button still dark. Mostly, it's my weight is around this area and my hips. Still a little bit on the shoulder, so you just need to slim down a little bit more, which is kind of usually that is how my body looks like. So I made myself some tea, um, so I'm going to enjoy that. The kids are right now eating cereal. That's what they wanted for breakfast. And I have to change the baby because he just had a poopy diaper and I think I'm probably going to have to nurse him again as well. It's already 10 o'clock, so. And it also snowed in for us guys. So here's how it looks like. Yeah. And look at this. So dirty. Yay. From this little guy. Yay. Always making a mess, huh? I oh, know. Let's get the change. You hungry again? And I just put socks on his little hands because I find that these works better than the mittens. What are we gonna do today? I think we have to paint some eggs. Yeah. Yeah, let's make some Easter eggs. That is in my eggs. So it's time to... It's a hard thing to know. This little guy is ready to eat. Right?
He's all uh, swaddled in this baby wrap. He's already getting nice and comfortable in there. It feels really comfortable for myself as well. So I really like it and I'm just obsessed with this color, guys. It's just so beautiful and the material feels nice and stretchy. And it's actually fairly easy to put him on. I was afraid at first if I can make it, but it's actually really, really nice and simple. I want to thank Kea Babies for sponsoring today's video. What I find really helpful with this uh, wrap is that it's easy to find the middle with this uh, logo that you have right here. So you know that that is the middle, so then you can place it on your, on your tummy and then start wrapping it around. It just helps so much for me to actually get things done a little bit around the house. As a family of five, it can get very busy and then having a newborn and a toddler, definitely this is a must have. I have a, a coupon code for you guys, so if you are interested in this baby wrap, then I do have a 10% off. I will leave the link down below so you can go and check it out yourself. But I can definitely tell you guys that I am really obsessed with this wrap. Denny wants to give some kisses. The baby and Olivia wants to give some kisses. <laughs> Olivia is munching on some donuts. My mom, she made some donuts yesterday. I will show it, show it to you guys in one second. And Olivia actually made some as well. So here are the donuts that my mom made, and these little ones Olivia made with her. <laughs> So me and Olivia are going to enjoy a salad. We made it together, right Olivia? Yeah. Yeah. Here's the salad. Um, a lot of green leaves, avocado, tomato, and uh, what is, I put some goat cheese on it, some walnuts. And then for the dressing, what I did is some balsamic vinegar, a little bit of oil, and then also some maple syrup. This little guy, he just ate with his dad, so. I bought some Easter candies for them, but they are starting to eat them already. And these are super cute, actually. I wanted to put them in their Easter baskets, but I don't think they're going to last. So, I actually picked up this from the store, so I'm going to make the iced coffee with this Bliss Almond, uh, here it is, Almond Vanilla. I've never had it before, so I'm, um, I'm curious to try it. So I didn't fill it up all the way. I just want to try and see if I want to add more or if this is good enough. Right, let's try it and see. Oh, that is super sweet, but it tastes really good. I added some more milk into it, but it tastes, actually for me, it tastes more like a milkshake now than an actual coffee. So probably what I will have to do is add another espresso shot to it. And then I think it will be good for me. But other than that, if you like sweet coffee, then that's definitely a way for you to go. So I also quickly want to show you guys what I got for the kids for their Easter baskets. And for Anthony, I got him this little like a ramp car kind of thing this is for olivia it's been something that she's been asking for for quite some time so i grabbed this from amazon and then these little guys are from filler store just something fun for them to have like a filler and then i got another one and then for olivia i also picked up this um pen for her so she can do her activity book which is what I got for her right here. I got for her a kindergarten math, so we can do a little bit of math with her. And then of course, this activity book that I got from Amazon as well. And then this one is for Anthony. So Anthony can do some coloring, and then Olivia, she can do this like um, activity book that it has mazes and things like that. I thought it was going to be something fun. And then to go with that, of course, I got them some uh, new markers and then also some 
chalk that I bought for them that it would be something fun it's getting nice and warm so they can go and play outside so this is everything I got for them for their Easter baskets. I am not going to be getting them anything else. I'm just going to be throwing some candies, you know, like the Kinder chocolate or something, whatever I find in the store, just few, so they can have something fun to look as well. Hello. Oh, I just woke up, so I came to grab him. And of course, Anthony woke up at the same time too, so he's crying downstairs. So I'm just going to grab this little guy and go downstairs. And of course, I did get something for the baby as well for his Easter basket. But since he's still a baby and a newborn, he doesn't really need anything. But I, but I wanted to get him a onesie, so I got him this one. So I got him this onesie. It's it's still big. It's three to six months, but he definitely is going to grow into it. And then I also got him this little like a. Um, travel toy so I'm planning to attach this one to his car seat because he's already looking around and it makes a little bit of a sound and I thought it was really cute the Easter baskets or like little bags that I got from Amazon for the kids that I'm planning on filling them out can definitely fit quite a bit I got two white ones for the boys and then I got the pink one for Olivia and, and they were also pretty affordable they were not too expensive so so this little guy woke up it's uh, five o'clock and um, yeah Anthony he has been upset since he woke up so I gave him a little bit of some gummy bears hopefully to cheer him up so he is eating that right now he's just you know calling me walking behind me all the time so life with the toddler but I have to feed this little guy he's going to see if we can watch something and hopefully he feels a little bit better and then this guy is going to start getting upset soon so I think I'm just going to end the vlog here but hopefully you guys enjoyed it let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see next and until next video